Hi, this is Dorothy from TaiChiBozeman.com slash RawFoodBlog and from FaveDives.com. We're making a lemon sheet cookie today. And what's fun about the lemon sheet cookie is that you can break it and use it in pieces like biscotti. So dip it in your tea or morning hot chocolate. And uh, so it's going to look like this. This one isn't done yet. It needs another day or so, especially since I left the door off the dehydrator, so it's not quite done yet. <laughs> Uh, and we use amaranth. Now, amaranth is a pre was used in pre-Columbian uh, Aztecs, who it's a grain, and we sprouted it. Who, but they believed it had supernatural powers, and um, it's a relative of lamb's quarter. There's about 60 species, so this is how this one looks sprouted. And I put it in a bag and soaked it with water for a day, poured off the water, and then let it sprout for a day or a day and a half. And you can. It's really tiny, but you can see the little sprouts in it. And it's got high, very high fiber, very high protein, two times more calcium than milk. And it digests so easily that a lot of people use it to end their fasting period. It's uh, really high also in tocotrienols, which is a form of vitamin E. And um, in Mexico, it's, it's popped, you know, to make... Uh, Mexican candies and sweets. It's really, really good. Really good for you. It just doesn't get enough attention. So in here, very simple ingredients in this lemon sheet cookie. I have three-fourths cup of almond meal, which I just ground in the food processor for about one to two minutes. So it resembles the flour. And then we have three-fourths cup of sprouted amaranth. And amaranth is fun to use because it's like cornmeal. And it even has a little bit of a cornmeal taste to it. So it's kind of like a big lemon cornmeal cookie we're making. And then a tablespoon of flax seeds soaked in water. And a third of a cup of coconut crystals, which are like brown sugar, but they're raw and made from the blossom of the coconut tree. Three tablespoons of coconut oil. So there's one, two, three. And a dash of salt. Let's take the lid off there. And also about two te teaspoons of whoopsie of dried lemon peel. I dried these myself from lemon peel, peel right from the lemon, and chop them up. Oh, it smells so good. And then the special ingredient is anise, oil of anise. So we use a teaspoon of that. This is known for its licorice flavor. And you could use the straight anise seed, but I'm using the essential oil today. Either one, but it makes it taste so good. Makes it smell really good too. And you could have done this in your food processor, but I'm just doing it by hand today. And then we'll spread it out on our dehydrator sheet which is lined with a piece of recyclable parchment paper. It's forming a nice ball now. I think I'll put just a touch of a little bit more soaked flax in it to give it that good egg texture. I had some ready just in case. Yeah, that helps so much. Flax is such a good replacement for egg. And I'll just start making a little one here. And you can make a nice round shape or you can make a rectangular shape if you want, but we wanted to make it in the form of a big cookie. And after I finish putting it all out here, I'll put a few sliced almonds on top. 
So dehydrate this at 104, 105 degrees for about 24 to 36 hours, depending on your dehydrator. And enjoy. It tastes so good. Have it for breakfast. From Dorothy at TaiChiBozeman.com slash RawFoodVlog and from FaveTypes.com.